Welcome to Cooking with Fiona, Season 2, Episode 10. Today we are going to be cooking apple crumble, easy stevie Japanesey. It is so delicious and so yummy and it's very easy to make. So we have, I've already chopped up and peeled six apples and a half a cup of granulated sugar, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and three tablespoons of lemon juice. So we have the crumble, the topping is one and a half cups of rolled oats, a half a cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, and um, melted butter, which I've already melted, and a half a teaspoon. So let's start. Oh, that's so long. Let's start from the very beginning. So we're gonna get a half a cup of granulated sugar, mix that in with the apples, and then it says a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I always overdo cinnamon, just like I do over overdo garlic. But cinnamon is such a yummy flavor with apples. And then three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Squeezed by yours truly, Fiona. Anyway, here you go. So this is the apple portion. I've started the oven, by the way, at, um, and I've greased the pan, and the oven's temperature is 375, so that's heating up. Now, this, today I have a very, very special, special guest, and I'm very proud to introduce my guest. Her name is Carol Mitchell. She's the head of lending at Clarion Bank. She's been in this business for almost 50 years. Wow, wow, wow. And she still looks so young and a wonderful, wonderful person. She's an extremely bright woman, thinks outside of the box, which I love. And she has her CPA. She's a mother and a wife and a very busy lady. Welcome. Come on over, Carol, and we'll help me cook this topping. Well, hello, Phil. Nice to see you. Yes. Let me give you a hug, Absolutely. sweetheart. And what I, you know, Carol, you, you know this business better than I do, and you know it as well as I do, but you really think outside of the box. So <clears throat> I'd love for you to talk about how do you lend at Clarion Bank. Well, Fiona, you know, at Clarion, we're happy to help any entity that is looking or individual that's looking for any type of borrowing. So we handle commercial lending. Uh, we handle lending to individuals, lending to trusts for a variety of purposes. Yeah. So, you know, from, in your case, mortgages for people buying first homes, second homes, for individuals buying cars. Right. So across the whole spectrum of commercial and um, individual personal lending, we have several very highly skilled professionals to be able to assist customers for whatever they're borrowing. And you know, for customers, I think the way to think about for mortgage lending, you wouldn't think anything about going to a bank and saying, I need money to buy a car. Uh -huh. um, but yet, you know, there's some people when it comes to purchasing a house and go, oh my gosh, you know, it, it seems so daunting. Uh, but it doesn't need to be because it really isn't. No. Um, you just need to uh, give us a shout, and we'll be, you know, more than happy, more than happy to help. Okay, so we're all set. I've buttered the baking dish for the apples, and I'm going to just plunk those apples in there and get it all evenly spread in the baking dish. The oven, by the way, is all heated at 375. I heard it make a noise. So it's all ready. Right, and it's my turn to make the crumble. So, ooh, sorry, Carol. So Carol's gonna do the crumble, and she's gonna be pouring one and a half cups, go ahead, you can put it wherever you like. One and a half cups of rolled oats. One and a half cups of old rolled oats. Half a, yep, half a cup of um, purpose flour, which is included in the rolled oats. Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Great job. And mix all that up. I gotta make sure I have all the cinnamon because cinnamon appears to be Fiona's favorite. It's one of my favorites. There you go. See it? I'm Other just gonna give that a little swirl I... around before I throw the butter in, just yeah, to get it. Get it all, all mixed, mixed up. up. Now, you know, if we were at my house, my hands would be in there, but you know, <laughs> it's your kitchen. 
That's fine. You can do whatever you like. If you want to put your fingers in that bow, you're more than welcome. All right. Perfect. Okay. So the objective here is to make it into lumpy, lumpy crumble. Crumble. So speaking of apple crumble, when I was 11 years old, I was asked to put my recipe, apple crumble recipe, in the Sunshine League cookbook. Now you think I can find that Sunshine League cookbook? I, can, I cannot. There you go. Um, but isn't it amazing? I'm now 21 around my waist, and um, I'm still making apple crumble. <laughs> And you know, when you called me and you said, would you like to do this in making apple crumble? I thought, lovely, I, on the way down, I'm going to stop and pick up some ice cream, but you know what happened? Good old Carol was running late. So <laughs> I'm sorry, Fiona, I do not have the ice cream. I know, I, guess what, I don't eat it. But yeah. I can go down to the store and get some ice cream later on and we can have that with our apple crumble. Sounds like a plan, what do you think? That sounds great, you can pour right. that right over. Okay right over the um, chopped apples and lots of cinnamon and every, you know, everybody loves apple crumble or apple pie. It's quite amazing. Have you ever thought, now this might be an idea for another recipe. I don't know how many of your, your um, followers would like date squares, but oh. the thing with date squares is you're using a lot of the same ingredients, being the oats and right. the flour, and you just don't have the apple, you have dates instead. Right. And that's pretty cool, too. It there. is. Yeah. That's Good. wonderful. Perfect, All right. Carol. So I'm just gonna slip in front, and I'm gonna put it in the oven, and it's gonna be in the oven for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, it's done. So one thing I don't have, I don't have the ice cream and I don't have the caramel sauce. Oh dear. But I've got whipped cream, so you can use either of those three things. So I'm just gonna dash over and get it. And voila. Wow. This is it. And, and it that looks is delicious. Amazing. I know we're gonna have so much of this. It's I can't wait to tuck into it. Woohoo! That sounds yes. great. Voila, it's all finished. It's lovely, it's delicious, it's really yummy, isn't it? It, it looks it smells yummy. delicious because yes. of the cinnamon, the aroma of the cinnamon. So don't forget to call me, 534-9932. Text me on that number or email me at fhatfield and at brcl.bn. I can answer all of your real estate questions. Carol, thank you again for coming to Cooking with Fiona. And call Carol at Clarion Bank. She's a wonderful person. Her door is, she's the type of person where her door is always open. That's true. Uh, absolutely. So what's your number? So my number is 294-5096. You can also email me at cmitchell at clarionbank.com. Super great. Yes. So thank you again for no. coming. Oh, I no, I thank you for really having me. I really appreciate yes. uh, your your knowledge and your interest in sharing this morning with, this morning with me. Thank you. Let me give you yeah. a hug, sweetheart. Yeah, oh. I do that. I do have to do that. Please call one. Fiona Hatfield on 534-9932 or email at fhatfield at brcl.bm.